Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to cover the 3 pass type 1 pineapple knot. It is going to be tied on a 7 part 6 byte Turks head since this was a request from one of my viewers. Now this knot is a very practical one, but it's not as intuitive to tie as the 2 pass version. It does require some attention to detail as well as understanding the knot. Now I have in the past already covered a smaller version of this knot and I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video which you can use in order to get acquainted with this knot. After that let's start tying the 3 pass version of the type 1 pineapple knot. As far as supplies go the first thing that you're going to need is something to tie the knot onto. In my case this is going to be a mandrel about 2 inches in diameter. This is a simple PVC pipe that's going to do the job just fine. You're going to need 3 pieces of paracord and for this size of a mandrel I used about 5.5 feet for each of the cords. If you're going to use a smaller mandrel, so one of a smaller diameter, you're obviously going to need less cordage. Finally, we're going to need a lacing needle, which is optional but highly recommended. With these supplies ready, let's begin. As you can see, I have attached a rubber band onto my PVC pipe in order to hold the standing ends of my cords. I'm going to take the first cord and with the standing end, I'm going to travel under the rubber band like this. And I'm going to attach a lacing needle onto the other side. I'm going to start by wrapping around my mandrel, like this, coming over the standing end, then coming around again, over here on the right side, then take my lacing needle and travel under over towards the left side. Then I'm going to come around again and I'm going to travel parallel to the standing end. So under over. Like this. Then I'm going to travel the opposite of this cord, so I'm going to travel over, under, over. Come around again, and this time I'm going to split the standing end and my working end, which are basically parallel. I'm going to start by going between them over, then under and over. Then from right to left I'm going to travel the opposite of this cord again, so under, over, under, over. Come around again, next to the standing end, and we're going to do the same thing again of doubling up the standing end. So under, over, under, over. Like this. Again, I'm going to travel from right to left, the opposite of this cord here. So over, under, over, under, over. Like this. And again we have a pair of parallel cords, the standing end as well as the working end that we need to split. We're going to continue by traveling over, then under, Over, 
under and over. Finally, we are again going to travel the opposite of this chord, and from right to left we're going to go under, over, under, over, under, and over. At this point, we should come right next to the standing end, and we travel under one, on the right side of it, and this finishes our bass knot, a 7 part 6 byte Turks head. We're now going to introduce the second chord. I'm going to place the standing end under the rubber band, here, so on the left side of the first standing end. I'm going to take the other end, which has a lacing needle attached, and I'm going to first come to this point, just above the crossing here. So to do that, I need to start with an under 2. Then I'm going to continue over 1, under 1, over 1, and under 1. I do not exit the knot, but stop just before with an under one. We're going to continue by starting our next sequence from right to left with an under one, over one, under one, over one, and under one. Again, we do not exit the knot, but stop at an under one. We again turn around and start the next sequence with an under one, over one, under one, over one, and under one. Again, we do not exit the knot. The next sequence starts with an under 2 because we need to split this pair here. So under 2, over 1, under 1, over 1, and under 1. We start the next sequence. Again, with an under 2 in order to split a pair. Then over 1, under 1, over 1, and under 1. And the next sequence from right to left again starts with an under 2 in order to split a pair. Then over 2 in order to split another pair. Then under, over and under. Like this. We start our next sequence the same way. So under 2 to split a pair. Over 2 to split another pair. Then under one, over one, and under one. We then continue from right to left with an under two to split a pair, over two to split a pair, under two to split a pair. Like this. Then over, under. And again, under 2 to split a pair, over 2 to split a pair, under 2 to split a pair, then over under. 
and again from right to left, under to the split a pair, over to the split a pair, under to the split a pair, over to the split a pair, and under one. Then we start the next sequence with an under two again to split a pair. Over two, under two, over two, and under one. Like this. Then from right to left, we start with an under two, over two, under two. Over two, and finally under one. Then we take our working hand and we place it next to the standing end of the second chord. So we travel under two, like this, and with that we have finished our second chord. The third and final chord needs to come here at the crossing of the second chord, so just above it. So to do that I have again attached a lacing needle onto my third chord. I'm going to take the standing end and I'm going to place it in between the first two chords, like this. Then I'm going to travel under 4, like this. Then we're going to travel towards the top, going over 2, under 2, over 2, and under 1. Here we're going to continue with an under one, over two, under two, over two, and under two. As you can see, at the top we traveled in between our first and second chord. At the bottom, we start with an under two, like this. So as you can see, the third chord is placed as the third chord from left to right. So under two, over two, under two, over two, and under one. Like this. This time we travel in between our first and second chord and start our next sequence with an under two. Then over two, under two, over two, and under two. So again the third chord travels in between the first and second chord. Then we start our next sequence with an under three. Then over two, under two. Over two and under one. And we start the next sequence under two, over three, under two, over two, and under two.
and the next one under three, over three, under two, over two, and under one. And again, the next sequence, under two, over three, under three, over two, and under two. And the next one, under three, over three, under three, over two and under one and the next one from right to left under two over three under three over three and under two And again, we start the next sequence under three, over three, under three, over three, and under one. And the last sequence under two. Over three, under three, over three, and under two. All we need to do now is take our working hand and place it under three, right next to the standing end of the third chord. And with that, we have a 3-pass type 1 pineapple knot. Now as you can see, it does need some tightening, but it is a proper knot. So guys, I hope that you were able to tie this knot without too much trouble. It's not the easiest knot out there, but it's not the hardest either. Thank you very much for joining me, and see ya next time.